Hello everybody, welcome to my videos on comics and toys and today we're looking at comics and a couple of months ago DC did Lego variants for all their issues and I picked up all the comics, even the ones I don't usually buy which isn't many but I thought I'd show them to you today so you might want to pick some up so here we go, the first one is Batman Superman number 16 and I'll give you a brief review of the comics probably don't care but anyway here we are so yep yeah, this is still good comic nice artwork one of the ones I'm picking up nice little uh, Batman and Superman Lego variant there next one which is a very good comic still out of all the DC is Justice League and this is on issue 36 as well and most of those figures have been done now in Lego form I think they've just brought out Cyborg so I have to pick him up, Green Lantern's out, so I need to get him. But yeah, this is a good comic, still done by Jeff Johns. Probably one of the best DC comics going out at the moment. And speaking of one of the best DC comics is Batman. The normal run that's done by Greg Capula, that's it, and Scott Snyder. Sorry if I messed their names wrong, messed up their names badly. But yeah, really nice Joker cover. Really nice comic, probably, you know, like I said, it's one of the best DC comics going. They're changing all the DC comics again soon, apparently, so I think they're having a reshuffle, so I think I might have to stop habit buying and cut down and just get some of the good stuff so I can spend more money on other stuff. Uh, Justice League United, which I stopped buying because it wasn't very good. <coughs> I think the only one they haven't done there now is uh, Stargirl. It's Supergirl's just come out. And yep, yeah, nice covers. Comic's not brilliant. It's too different for me now. Changed it around. And speaking of different is Action Comics number 36. And I'm not really keen on this. Superman's too different in this uh, timeline for me now. But saying that, I am getting the Superman comic because it's got John Romita Jr and Jeff Johns writing it so once they stop doing it I will probably give that one up but yep Superman's a bit too different for me now I, I miss all the old history of him so if you want the old history with DC the only ones that are going are Batman and Green Lantern really the others they've changed all the history on them We've got Detective Comics number 36 another Batman obviously cover there nice cover that's not too bad it's quite not quite good actually Detective at the moment Superman Wonder Woman, I'm actually think I'm going to stop this now because I can't really be bothered with it, they've just brought Magog, I think his name is, in it and he's different now so yeah, I can't be fucked with that, so nice cover. Next we've got Grayson, uh, I, I'm kind of in the middle of the row with this comic at the moment, I'm not too sure, it's alright but I've always collected Nightwing so I'm going to carry on for a bit, I kind of find it weird that He's going around as Grayson and not Nightwing. I know, obviously, he got um, his identity revealed a while ago, but I want him to come back as Nightwing. So, yeah, that's not too bad. It's probably the most boring Lego cover out of all of the covers this that month. Next up is Supergirl number thirty-six. This is isn't actually too bad. I've, I bought the last couple because there were some variant issues, but I'm not going to carry it on. But it's not too bad. Next, in my personal opinion, is the best ring bearer comic, if you excuse the expression, ring bearer, um, is Sinestro. And it's actually, I reckon this comic is better than Green Lantern now. It's really good. It's really nice artwork and really good story. So, that's a Sinestro cover. And that figure's just come out in Lego form. Next is Justice League Dark, which... I don't buy apart from some of the variants there's Frankenstein there it's all right but it's sort of I wouldn't if I had the money I'd buy it but can't be fucked otherwise Green Lantern cover there it's probably second best storyline run-of-the-mill Green Lantern stuff so it's a bit of a shame that Jeff Johns went but he was on it for so long but it's a good comic still it's not too bad and it's got all the old DC history compacted into about five years 
of the storyline so you're not missing out any of the past with Green Lanterns, the Blackest Night storyline so forth and so forth so I will keep buying Green Lantern because it kind of connects to the old DC still Green Lantern Corpse, this figure isn't available in Lego form but uh, the comics finishing soon because it's not brilliant but I picked it up for the Godhead crossover series and I'm going to get the last few issues and then it's finishing so there we go Aquaman still good comic not as good as it used to be because Jeff Johns isn't doing it but yeah it's still not too bad excuse the sunlight there uh, yeah not too bad and then we got Flash I don't buy that anymore it's too different for me Teen Titans which they've um, relaunched again and it's still shit and there's um, Beast Boy which they haven't released in Lego form Batgirl which I've stopped I appreciate the new writing on it and artwork but it's not really for me it's more of sort of a girly comic I miss Gail Simone on it and yeah I can't be bothered with all that Twitter text talk crap that goes on in the comic at the moment so I can't be fucked with that I used to really like Batgirl Catwoman I don't bother with because it's not brilliant but I get the variants used to be really good but got shit that's a good review isn't it got shit Wonder Woman number 36 was actually quite a good comic but I am not gonna bother buying this because I can't be fucked but it's quite a good comic actually good story and good artwork so there we are oh, let me smack in the light and last but not least is Batman and Robin which is probably the second best Batman comic going at the moment because it's got the story with Robin obviously and spoilers he's just come back in the comic which I haven't read yet so I can spoil it but can't spoil it so there we go so that's all the Lego covers for a couple of months ago so hope you enjoyed it I've got some Darwin Cook covers coming up soon I'm still buying them at the moment and I'll be showing those off and they're really nice so hope you enjoyed the video keep buying comics uh, keep watching my channel and subscribe and comment if you feel like it don't mind if you put anything rude or anything whatever you want so hopefully you enjoyed it and I will see you all very soon for some more videos bye bye